Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my September monthly favorites. And just like with every other <laughs> favorites video, wow, where did the month go? But I'm so glad that it is finally fall. Today is like the first day that it's officially really truly felt like fall. It is like pretty chilly outside, it's super windy, super cloudy, and I love it. And if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red button down below, as well as the little bell next to it so you are notified of all of my future uploads. And we are just going to get started. So this here is probably the best texture spray I have ever used in my life. And I've used a lot. So this is the Sexy Hair Big Fun Razor volumizing dry texture spray. I am obsessed with this stuff. So my hair is super thin, super fine, and it does not hold a style or a curl very well at all. And then there's hairspray, of course, which then almost makes my hair like too crunchy, too hard, and it just doesn't look natural. I mean, there's some hairsprays that I've tried that have claimed to be a light, hold and my hair will still not blow in the wind. So I'm, I've been through so many different products trying to find the one that suits me the best. And while this is not exactly a hairspray, it is a texture spray. So it gives my hair a little grip to it, especially when I'm styling and it gives it volume and it makes my styles last. So I kind of use it as a hairspray along with as a texture spray. So I absolutely love this and I I don't think I ever want to be without it. So, and then speaking of hair, I found these, let me pick them up. I found these three hair clips here. It was a pack of three from Target. I don't know if it was the, a new day brand, but it's just got like three different styles here. And I've actually been really into these. Um, I don't like having my hair in my face and especially now that you know I'm homeschooling our kids and there's just a lot more you know stuff happening here at home I just want my hair out of my face and I kind of have been trying to stay away from hair ties I mean I still wear them obviously but you know I don't want to wear one every single day because that can be really hard on your hair and pull it out break it you know all that stuff so I've been wearing hair clips and these are great. I just kind of sweep my hair to the side and put a clip in or I'll sweep it over, you know, all over on one side and then put a clip in and it, and it stays. So this is just a more gentle way to keep my hair out of my face and they're also really cute. This primer here I talked about in my last makeup routine, my minimalist mommy makeup routine, which I will leave in a card up above and then also linked down below so you can see me use this product. So this is the Tula Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Gel, and it is amazing. I've tried primer gels in the past that are really sticky and tacky, and while that works for some people or certain occasions, I just didn't like them. I kind of felt like my foundation, I couldn't blend it on top of it. It would like stick to it, and it just, it was a mess, and I just did not care for those. And this I bought, my brother got married in beginning of August and I did my own makeup and I bought this because of course it was an outside wedding and it was pretty warm and I wanted my makeup to last from morning until night and this held up. This did the job so, so well. You only need a small amount and you just like pat it into your skin and I put it, you know, specifically over the areas that I have larger pores or fine lines and it just smooths your skin like in the most amazing way so I've been slowly transitioning to more clean makeup and beauty products in general and this product here Tarte is a all vegan makeup brand I believe and I also bought this to wear for my brother's wedding because it is a waterproof bronzer so this is the Tarte Park Ave Princess Amazonian clay matte waterproof bronzer. So the reason why I like this so much is because it gives me the most beautiful natural 
like bronzed look on my skin. I mean, you can't really go heavy with this product. It's a more cool toned bronzer, so I feel like it matches my skin tone very nicely. And I kind of use it to bronze slash contour. And then the last beauty pro well, products I wanna talk about is the Lauren Conrad makeup. Now she actually just did another launch like two days ago or something. And I haven't bought anything from that launch because you know, budget life and everything. And I have some other stuff I wanna use up first. But this, these products were from her first launch. So I'm just gonna talk about my most favorite product from the entire first launch. And this is the Lauren Conrad The Lip Gloss, it's called. And it is in the shade Rose Quartz. There's three shades in total, and this was the lightest one. It goes on very clear, but it has like the teensiest like pinky sheen. But her makeup is all clean, all vegan, so of course I'm all about that. So I don't know if it's because of quarantine, or you know wearing masks or if it's just my personal style i think it's a little bit of both honestly but i just have not wanted to wear lipstick i don't even really like lipstick anymore and i have been wearing this non-stop because while it is a lip gloss it's very hydrating it's very nourishing and it's very comfortable to wear it kind of comes out a little thick like you don't need a ton of it but it's not goopy it's not sticky it's a very smooth formula so I think that's one of the reasons why I only wear this these days because it is just so comfortable to wear and my lips always feel so hydrated and they look juicy and it's just it's just a very very good lip gloss and then she also released the liquid highlighter and I believe she just released one shade and this is in the shade pearl and oh I love this, you guys. Let me swatch it for you. Can you guys see that? This highlighter, it's like, it's not quite gold, but it's not quite like a silver or like a white. It's like, I don't really know how to describe it, but it is a very universal flattering liquid highlighter and it goes on so beautifully. As you can see, it blends out so nicely. It doesn't look like too blinding, which I appreciate. And then I've also been absolutely loving her, it's called the Lip and Cheek Tint. I only put it on my cheek. I don't, I don't want to like mix it or anything so I only wear it on my cheeks but it is in the shade peony and she only released one shade of this as well this is amazing absolutely amazing it's kind of like a gel-ish formula like it's not shimmery it's got a very nice sheen to it you can build it up and it blends out so nicely can you guys even like see that but it blends out so beautifully and it lasts all day it doesn't kind of like break apart or like fade or anything like that it just kind of soaks into the skin and looks like a beautiful natural flush so about a month ago yeah I mean, it's been about a month now i picked up some castor oil from Ulta Beauty to put on my eyebrows and my eyelashes. And I kid you not that while my lashes aren't like, you know, insanely long <laughs> or anything, like if I were to wear false lashes, they are definitely thicker, they look more full. I would say they're a little bit longer as well. And I owe it all to this product here. So I take a Q-tip and I apply it to my eyebrows and my eyelashes every single night before bed. And I put a generous amount on. And I feel like it just really promotes the growth and like the thickness of my eyebrows. My eyebrows naturally are a little sparse. So I feel like that kind of helps fill them in a little bit better. And then same thing with my eyelashes. So I went through a phase earlier this summer where I was wearing only waterproof mascara and that is so hard to remove and it's very hard on your lashes so I lost a lot of lashes and I just kind of wanted to repair the hair on my eyes that sounds like really weird but that's kind of what I'm doing and I feel like I have noticed a difference and I mean it's only been a month so you know maybe in two three months from now it'll be really interesting to see what you look like next I want to talk about some essential oils and no I am not selling them I am not looking to sell them I just like using them I like diffusing them in my home and I like 
trying out different scents, different blends, things like that. So I just wanted to talk about my favorite ones currently. So, so my favorite ones right now are sweet orange, grapefruit, lemon, bergamot, clove, cedarwood, and frankincense. Those, I kind of like mix and match all of those. The other day I was diffusing one for my kids in their room and it smelled like fruity pebbles and they were like, all about that. I've been diffusing more like fall scented ones, ones that kind of smell like a campfire, one that kind of smells just like, you know, outside when it's fall, like that smell. And I've just been really enjoying that and I just feel very relaxed and calm. And like I said, it's just, I don't know, it's just something that I've been really into this past month. So I wanted to mention those. And I buy my essential oils from either Meyer, the grocery store here, or Target. Alta has some too. I think that's where I got this little guy. All right, last two things. Well, three-ish things. But as you guys probably know, the Home Edit who is on Instagram and they have their business where they go to people's houses and they organize them for them. And they recently came out with a TV show. And of course, I've watched it all and I was so inspired and I want to redo and organize every single room in my house. But, you know. And they also released a book and this is called the home edit life this is their second book and oh my gosh you guys i love flipping through this or if i'm stuck trying to figure out how to organize a certain area or a room in my house i will like open this book and kind of get some inspiration and the last favorite that i have this is the budget planner so i heard about this planner from carlene armstead she is a minimalist mom instagram and youtuber and she had talked about how she and her husband they use this planner here you get it from amazon to track their finances and to pay off debt and you know everything like that and my husband and i beginning of september we really decided to crack down hard on budgeting and debt payoff and i have been just all over the internet looking for stories and tips and ideas and following people who are debt free and everything like that and it's so exciting and fun to think about and it's just so rewarding to feel that way too and inspiring so i picked up the planner i love that it is undated i'm just going to turn to october because i don't want to show any personal stuff but i am obsessed with this it just has like the month and then there's like you know, when you get paid, there's fixed expenses, which fixed expenses are expenses that you get every month, like your car payment, if you have one, rent, house payment, you know, cell phone bill, whatever. And also varied expenses, you know, if you go shopping to Target or if you have an appointment or if you have an emergency, you know, you need to replace something. So those are kind of varied expenses that you can keep track of everything. And then you keep track of your bills and your goal, like your total debt payoff goal. So this along with the cash envelope system, my husband and I have had a great month of September and we owe it all to the budget planner and the cash envelope system. And then just the inspiration from people that we've talked to or seen on social media. So I, I, I love budgeting. I never thought that I would be the type of person who would love finance and listening to podcasts and reading articles and books on like personal finance, budgeting, debt payoff, but never say never. <laughs> Here I am. All right, everybody. So those were all of my September monthly favorites. Let me know what your favorite things were for from the month of September. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.